Well, I mean, I, I this is unfounded, but I did just read a little something about how someone's found the CCP has been funding a lot of this. And it would make so much sense. Tensions between us and China yep. were already high. China wants, does not like Trump. He's ruining their economy to, in their eyes. And they, we've been giving them our money basically for years. And they couldn't stop him. And it's like, what would be a better time to attack us than when we're in a pure civil war than right now? I mean, that's, yeah. it would, it, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to war with China. Yeah, Where is this? Right. Uh, it's a scary. It's a scary time, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. What's up with this? So Ooh. we're for the, for those that are just hopping in, we're currently talking about people who believe that China, the Communist Party, is trying to manipulate the protests and all that stuff, and yeah. it's unfounded. It's unfounded. Um, it it is true, however. Mike Pompeo said mm -hmm. China has infiltrated the U.S. Very, very serious. Like to to levels I mean, that are freaking but people we, out. And we have known this. They've been paying professors. That's the big thing. We, right now. we found them bringing in coronavirus. Yeah. And how is that not? We did a segment about yeah, this know, like a dude. month ago. Raising and it's like, flags. we know China was, was sending in. It was flu and stuff. Oh, it was it Ebola. Was it was yeah. SARS. Yep. So they, right, they, were, they yeah. were bringing in coronaviruses. Uh, like illegally smuggling it in. Yep. So we known we've known about this. There was a DOJ yep. document that we read. It's like, come we've on, cover this. Yep. Yeah, exactly. How is that not mainstream? Then, How do people not know about that? It's like tensions are rising. Now, now we see this custom customs officials sees three hundred and fifty one thousand dollars worth of counterfeit one hundred dollar bills in Milwaukee. What do you think they're doing with that money? Th that fake money. They're paying people. They're paying people with it. Yeah, it doesn't you. cost well, them on, anything. It says it says that it came from Shanghai. It came from Shanghai. Oh. Boom. China. Holy moly. Yeah. So and was headed headed for a residence in Milwaukee. Hmm. Who has to gain from this? China. They want us weak. Yeah. But we don't know what they're doing with the money. For all you know, I am speculating a hundred percent here. Yeah, Hold sure. on, brother. You know they send drugs here too. Fentanyl. Oh, not not yeah. even not even that designer drugs. They send all of our drugs. We don't make no, anything no, no, here. No, 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 drugs. illegal drugs. The, they, they send. I know, I know what you're saying, but I'm telling drugs. you, we. But it's also true that we they make all of our drugs. They could just slip ish in our drugs. Excuse me, but it's like, <laughs> you know, I yeah. mean, that, what's to, if they really wanted it though, they could totally do that. You know, just. Put stuff in all of our drugs that we get from them. Antibiotics. Oh, it's, 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 but it's it's beyond that, man. It's like well, this. It, let's let's read about this though. Yeah, you this, read it? this money here. Let's, let's it. see it. Let's see. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials seized three hundred fifty-one thousand dollars worth of counterfeit currency at a facility in Milwaukee on May twenty-seventh. The currency the currency was in form of three thousand five hundred and fifteen one hundred dollar bills located at the express uh, consignment operations facility in milwaukee according to a news release from the cbp according to cbp officials the shipment arrived from shanghai china and was headed for a residence in milwaukee uh, the parcel was selected for examination, and when the parcel was opened, officers found what was later confirmed as counterfeit currency. The currency was made of poor material and was missing the required watermark. It had no uh, red and blue embedded fibers. Such, uh, Each bill had the same serial number, and there were Chinese letters on the back of the bills Whoa. in red, Whoa. officials said. Uh, CBP officials noted counterfeit money like this, described as foreign writing notes, is a violation of federal law and is considered contraband. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, these foreign writing notes were destroyed. Officials uh, said just last year, more than a hundred million, wow, a hundred million dollars of counterfeit currency was exchanged. Jeez. First and foremost, we May twenty seventh. Why is that coming in right? What is that? A, right mm, when everything was going down. Exactly. Two days yeah. after the, the right. killing. Exactly. So. What, what, was this, much, what is this much, money coming in from? How much got sent in that wasn't caught? That is that yeah. is exactly what my now, next hold on, my hold next on. Was, most yep. important most important thing we have no idea what this was going to be used for. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. All speculation. But All that's speculation. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying before. Everything is fishy. Yeah. Everything I'm reading, it's like why? What? To what end? There's just always this little weird twist. Fish but this is this is fishy, man. This doesn't make any sense. Two days after Floyd yep. got killed, all oh, of a sudden, let's, money. let's throw in all this fake money. It doesn't cost us anything, but it's paper, right. whatever, Trashy. nothing. Yeah, it's not even good. Yeah. But there's people out there, they see a briefcase filled with that. Yo, go go uh, throw a brick in not that Not even bill. that. Not even that. Here's 100 bucks, bro. 
go buy some go buy some this that you know yeah or how about hey try and go get whatever you can there's p some picnic tables over here remember that video yeah that guy got accused you know of like paying protesters or whatever i'm using it as an example not to accuse the guy because i'm not i don't want to accuse the guy but you see these videos it's not even about paying someone hmm. for all we know somebody could have been given like oh yeah here's a hundo just you know go pick up some uh you know some water bottles and then what do they use to throw at cops? Start fights? Water bottles. Mm -hmm. So it could be really, really simple. I mean, look, man, yeah, we're simple. dealing with Chinese intelligence. You why know I mean? why is China sending fake bills to Milwaukee? Crime. Because look, right now we don't know if it's even the crime, government, right? Crime. That, yeah. that, that's it. Crime. That Obvious, it obviously. It could, it, could be, it could be as simple as this. It could be as simple as yeah. if you give us $1,000, we'll give you $300,000 in fake money. Hmm. And so you can pass it off slowly. And we get the money up front to, to actually use as we see fit yeah. through like actual institutions, laundering and stuff like that. Regardless, there it is. Wasn't something weird. Wasn't the cop's original reason for going after Floyd was a fake bill? Yeah. Yeah, sure was. Hmm. Interesting, mm -hmm. dude. A hmm. Counterfeit $20 bill. What? Counterfeit money. You're right. But we're doing a lot of speculating right now, bro. Yeah. Totally. It's fine. But hold on. Hold I admit it 100%. <laughs> this was in Milwaukee, too. Yeah. It's not that far away from Minneapolis. It's not. It's not, I mean, how many hours is that? It's probably, probably like a, a five-hour drive. Let me look you think? I don't think it's that far. Yeah. Milwaukee? Let me map Yeah, it maybe, fast. maybe. Because I think it's like five from Chicago. I think it's a five-hour drive. That's just randomly guessing. Milwaukee so, and Minneapolis. So, again, a lot of speculation. But we can say this. Counterfeit bills arrived from Shanghai. Yep. Two days after. That's weird, there was man. Some, I mean, nah, but you know, you know what, man? I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't look too much into that connection because... You got a lot of counterfeit bills floating around. Yeah, sure. Especially 20s. Coming from China? The bigger... Yeah. No, that's the bigger question. Mm -hmm. right. Why is China sending counterfeit bills to our country? Now, look, because organized crime exists, for sure. True. I think we should take this, consider it, but we got to wait for more evidence to see where it leads us instead of trying to connect it to something else. Definitely. However, in the bigger picture, it's a fact that there have been several professors who are in on the take from China getting paid yep. and lying to our government in exchange for money. I can only assume it's because they're passing off our secrets from our universities to China. Yep. China's been stealing our intellectual property. In Silicon They've Valley, They've been sending they designer that. drugs. So all the people I know throughout my life who have ever bought designer drugs all come from China. They mm. make, wow. they, yep. So you know what design, designer drug is, right? Yeah. Like MDMA? No, uh, they take an illegal drug and manip ma manipulate like one molecule so it becomes legal. Right. Oh. And, and then they send it in. So they it's call a different it, strain. They call it plant food Ooh. or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, plant food. Do not eat or or with bath salts. Yeah, that was the famous one. Oh gosh, oh, man. yeah, Many John faces. McAfee. So they're 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 clearly using subversive methods uh, to damage us and to harm us. And I think Trump comes along and, you know, he shuts that down. Ooh, they don't like it. It's the end of the yep. world. So for them, yeah, they're in trouble. They're like, uh oh, our plan. Yeah, Trump is throwing all of the corporations. Uh, he's throwing a big, huge wrench. Yeah. And it's called uh, it has America made in America. <laughs> Uh, right. Written on the side of it. I love it. But what about the utopian vision of a one world government, Adam? Yeah, it's not going to work. I, are you honestly asking me? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's the argument. Where's this vision coming from? The argument is Who, that... The, who's got the vision that, that that's going to work? I don't know, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, don't, I don't trust her. No, on the, that. The, no the, way. The argument is... You know, uh, globalists are trying to create a one world government. Right. I mean, I'm not saying literally everyone's argument, but this is one of the things you hear a lot. And Trump is a nationalist. So he believes in America being better and stronger and faster and wealthier and all that stuff. And it's causing harm to the convenient foundations of certain high profile yeah, you know, that are getting paid from, you guessed it, China. China. Yeah. Yep. Man. I think the big, the big challenge is, you know, the way I've put it is, I think globalism will happen no matter what we do. What we have to prevent is authoritarian globalism. So that's what we see. How do we do that? You just don't let China take over. Yeah. And so I think that's what we're seeing. China's been, you know what I, you know what I think? A lot of the American politicians who uh, hate Trump, it's not about them. Like, it's, it's not about like, you know, Xi Jinping flying on a private jet and landing, you know, at Hillary Clinton's house or whatever, or like Martha's Vineyard and being like, here's a briefcase full of a million dollars, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's about him saying like, we have lucrative business opportunities for your son, Joe Biden. <laughs> How about we offer up a $1 billion loan to your son, Joe Biden? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they're like, now that we have this deal, we don't want Trump to mess it up. And it's not about some grand conspiracy. It's all overt and in your face. Yeah, totally We know it. Joe Biden was doing this with his kid, flying on, what was that, they flew on Air Force Two? Yeah, they did. They went so yeah, there you go, man. Wow. So, so Trump is 
not happy about it. And there you go. You can see exactly why they would be upset if Trump goes to war over this. Yep. I mean, war figuratively, not literally. Right, I right, mean, right. maybe even I literally. Hope. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully not. But the questions of uh, whether or not China's trying to hurt us, oh, dude, there's no question. No questions. None. None at all. That's why they're, I see this and I'm like, they've been, they've been obviously they're, they're messing with us. Complicit American politicians giving away our labor and manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Then you've got there's the constant theft of our intellectual property, just like technology, like corporate espionage. The, the university professors who are getting paid to double dip and, you know, give them research projects or whatever. Then you got Mike Pompeo talking about the infiltration. Mm -hmm. and now you've got weird counterfeit bills, designer drugs, dude. It, it is probably worse than we realize. Oh, yeah. It is Definitely. probably freakishly worse. Definitely. Then you take a look at it's really funny when they talk about, you know, um, Russian propaganda. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, RT is not even that big like Russia today. Yeah. Not even that big. Al Jazeera. Yeah, Russia really, of views. really isn't, I thought, you know, who do you think the superpowers are, are on the planet, you know, like most money, you know, it's like Japan is higher on that list than Russia is. And I was like, oh, wow. I, I oh, know wow. It. Yeah. Did you know that? No. It's like, oh, wow. India is also. Yeah. That yeah, Russia's not that wealthy. Yeah, it's like, okay. How many people are in Russia? Like 60 million? I don't, I don't even know about the population, but it's like, as far as like GDP of, of the country as a whole, it's like, they're not really high. I think they're like number seven or something. It's like, oh, okay. Like, all right. 144 million Russians. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Okay. A lot bigger than I, than I thought. Yeah, it is pretty yeah. big. What do you got here? Oh, no, no. I was going to look up the population oh, of right. Russia. Right, it's my right. job. Yeah, that's, that's, and then you got China, one something, you know, one billion, billion. 1.3 billion or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, they don't like us. They're going to, hey, man. They have a lot to to lose. Thucydides trap. Yep. China is growing as a, as a global power, an economy. And once they get close to displacing us, we are very, very likely going to see a war break out. Yep. Which brings me to the next really fun conspiracy theory that okay. I hear a lot. What's this? That everything we're seeing with the rioting is actually not because of China. It's because of Trump on purpose so we can be prepared for war. Huh. Where are you hearing that? Just stupid little posts and comments and stuff and tweets. Hmm. I've seen people tweet something like, this is all part of the plan to get Americans ready for a war with China. Think about it. Yep, I, I have. First, COVID. Everyone must learn how to bake bread in their homes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now they're all baking bread. And they're all starting little gardens mm -hmm. and it shutters down the unnecessary parts of the economy. Now they all have guns. No, right. Then, then everyone went and bought yeah. guns. Mm -hmm. Then the riots, though, ensured everyone went out and got guns. True. And this is basically putting people in a, a crisis mode, which could be bad. But this is this is the, the inverse of that conspiracy theory that we've been gearing up for a war with China. So how do you get your population ready for a conflict? They need to be armed. And they need to be a bit more self-sufficient and less doughy. Two major crises back to back, force them, shock them, give them some strife, mm -hmm. harden them up quick and fast because wars are coming. And they got 1.3 billion people. And we got 300. We got we have one billion less people mm -hmm. than China does. One billion less. That's true. So I'm not saying it's true, but I, I, I do mention this a lot to my friends. I'm like, the idea that all of this happened, like the reason why the the the, the governors are allowing the protests while disallowing the, the lockdown. What's the real reason for it? Well, in all honesty, bias and ineptitude. Yeah. But a lot of people say it's because they want people to be locked down to force specific economic self-sufficiency, and they want the protesters out to shock and scare people into arming up, becoming more defensive, also getting out of cities. You know why? Cities are, are extreme Target. weak points. Yeah. That's true. So now all the people are fleeing cities because of both of these issues and spreading out across the country. So it'll be a lot harder to take, take out the American population with a single strike. When everybody was living in the eastern seaboard, one mul multiple independently re uh, targeting reentry vehicle, 12 warheads, all the cities hit. Now everybody's moved out of the cities. That's a good point. Yeah. So at the, uh, I guess the worst case scenario is there is a bit of... There is silver lining. Silver lining yeah. in all the chaos. I mean, I think, I think all the two-way people are laughing and cheering. <laughs> Because now the two, like Second Amendment, is basically put on a pedestal. That's true. All these gun to you know, gun control people from cities mm -hmm. are now like zip. Every prepper out there is just everybody just going like loading. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> everybody shifted hard right on two yeah. A. That's true. So like me as a moderate, I'm like I'm getting a Sig M400. It's gonna happen. Then, yeah. then gun control people are like, I think I should consider getting a gun. Mm, yes. You know, mm -hmm. for me, I, I mean, I was down for it you know, a while ago. 
But considering everything that's happening, now you're getting the Cadillac, though. Yeah. Apparently, Excited. look, I don't know, man. Yeah, I just blame I blame Crowder. <laughs> <laughs> you're grateful to Crowder. Yeah, no, I mean it's awesome. They they uh, apparently worked really really hard to to pull it off. It's pretty cool. And I'll make sure to like when it comes, post some photos. I, I've had yeah. many many people asking me to get a box opening yes. video <laughs> unboxing and a week footage. i gotta do it i'm gonna oh, do yeah, it man, totally totally, totally. I, I mean cool. people have been asking me we'll do I, it. I love my fans you guys are awesome out there so i gotta We're do, gonna it. do we'll I'm do an gonna, unboxing i'm gonna film yeah. you I was I was gonna get some B- rickety old it. rickety old flintlock from a local shop, <laughs> yeah, <flintlock>. single shot, <laughs> and then Crowder was like, "Listen, listen, man, let me let me let me let me call you back later." And then I got a call like, you know, come on the show and we have a surprise for you or something. And I'm like, "All right," he's <laughs> like, "We got you it." A rifle, and I was like, "Okay, Ooh, hey man, sweet." No, but we we definitely got to go to a range. You were you were gifted a rifle by a Viking. By a Viking, yeah, how <laughs> culturally <weird>. appropriating <laughs> Viking. Yeah, but we we definitely got to go to a range. Oh wow. yeah, yeah. so much training. I, I know a bunch around here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I already I already sought them out. Training first and foremost, mm-hmm. take it seriously. Totally. Yeah, I've I've been I've been to places where people don't respect weapons, governments yeah. don't, mm-hmm. and it's like, ooh, you don't want that stuff. But yeah, man. Think about this. Milk toast fence sitting Tim was knocked off the fence on that issue. That's on that true. One issue. So think about what would happen now in the event of some kind of ground incursion or some kind of actual assault. You've got a militia now. You've, yeah. you've, you've got a gun behind every blade of grass. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So that's, a, I guess, a silver lining. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think a lot of people, you know, the, the way conspiracy theories work is they, is they look for patterns and make assumptions based on what they view as being, you know, uh, improbable. Okay. So it's like, what's the likelihood that all of a sudden this crazy riot happened at a time when we we're about to go to war and China's like about to invade India or some crazy stuff yeah. over in Kashmir? Okay. All what this crazy odds? stuff. Doing beach, they're they're doing beach uh, beaching trainings apparently. Really? Yeah, in China. Mm-hmm. Oh like, my and they're get their boats going around Taiwan. All this is going down, and then all of a sudden some riots break out, and Americans go nuts to buy guns. Mm-hmm. Guns are picked off the shelf clean. Yep. I think it's possible coincidence. Maybe. I don't. I don't like drawing conclusions without evidence. So all I can really say is, hey, they both happened, right? But there are some people who think there's no way that's a coincidence. Oh, did you see there's North no Korea is going on like lockdown with South Korea? Yeah. Yes, oh, I man. saw that also. Be exciting. Oh, man. It's coming, you know. Well, Some, something's, coming. something's coming. I don't know where it's going to come from. Or with China. I really do. I th- I think so. I, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised. We've been talking about it a lot. That ex- it's been escalating. Yep. It's not. People are not talking about it. It's like, why? Why not? How do we not know they're, they're invading I'm India make, right now? I'm going to make a long shot prediction. Go. Long shot prediction. Oh, goodness. <laughs> First, I, I hate your long shot predictions. I like them. They're interesting. It's just an no, idea. No. Oh, yeah. Why, no. Like <laughs> They're always right. That might be, might be part, part of, of the reason. No, 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 no. My, my predictions about like escalating tension and like race right stuff mm-hmm. that I mentioned years ago okay. was just because something happened and I said, I think this will get worse. Yeah. That's not a long shot prediction. That's really? like, hey, something happened. It literally happened. I'm not predicting anything. It happened. I know. And now I think it'll happen again. <laughs> yeah. My long shot prediction, though, is really long shot, low probability. I don't know. I was just thinking about this. And I thought to myself, you know, based on everything we've seen, based on what I've seen with all the conspiracy theories that everyone has and the happenstance and the circumstance and, and, the, and, the, and the coincidences and stuff, I think there is a strong possibility that in the next several months, the U.S. government will catch a Chinese national engaging in some kind of subversive, destructive act against the United States. Yeah. And, okay. and you know, because I'm looking at history and how we've always had these scapegoats to direct the ire of the American people. Didn't they just find that Chinese national that snuck into a Navy boat and but, was taking pictures? But that's not, that's actually happened a lot. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like there have been like, like Chinese nationals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah, that. Like walking up to nuclear power plants and filming and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and mm-hmm. getting caught. Mm. But so I'm talking about something more severe, like maybe election tampering or, you know, getting caught supplying weapons or something okay. like something more serious or, 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 or funding uh, a, a terrorist organization with yep. fake bills. Yeah. Right, right, right. Or like or that. maybe even something more severe, like actually an act is committed. People lose their lives and then they catch a guy at the scene. Yeah. Oh, so I think back to history about how things played out, how people created, how governments created a pretext for war. Oh, like and Vietnam. do you know about, uh, well, no, Nazi Germany, mm. the burning of the, uh, the, the, how do you pronounce it, Reichstag? The Reichstag, yeah. Reichstag, yeah. They found a Polish guy and they said, it was him. 
Hmm. Then you also had uh, it was the uh, L L L Lemnitzer, I think was his name. Do you know? Do you know about this? I'm not familiar with uh, Operation Northwoods. Okay, where uh, the joint, I believe it was the Joint Chiefs of Staff, proposed having fake Cubans attack Florida, and then Kennedy was like, "Get out of here! No way, dude! We're not doing that." But the goal was it's a false flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now because of the this, people think you know it happens all the time. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Vietnam was a false flag. The Gulf of Tonkin incident yeah. didn't yeah. really happen. Yeah, that's what I was talking so it's about. not really a false flag in that regard because like we weren't actually attacked. They just lied about it. Right. Like, oh no, we've been attacked. Oh, we got invaded. So I think, I think, yeah, it, it could even be something like that. Like uh, uh, a U.S. aircraft carrier gets sunk, you know, and it's like China did it or something. Yeah, I mean, even still going back to this article about this, this cash, this fake cash. Why would they put Chinese letters on it? It's kind of a giveaway, right? Why? Why would they even do the that? The average person wouldn't know. You, you 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 think Gladys over at Walmart, who's seventy and like taking your bills, knows anything? Every Thank you for the money, every theory. store I've ever walked into and paid with a bill over twenty, they swipe it. They the they've got the marker. Size of the bill. But, if it's five. But dumb poor people wouldn't know. And you could walk up to a dumb poor person and say, "Here's a hundred dollar bill. Do what I want." Yeah, maybe it's not to buy stuff. Maybe it's to give to people and be like, yep. "Hey, here, check us out. Yeah. Go yeah. throw a rock through that window." Yeah. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or actually just show this to him. Say, I got $100. You throw a rock to that window, I'll give it to you, and yep. then you leave. Right. <laughs> you don't give them anything. And dumb people are be like, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Dumb people. I guess we will... Uh, yeah. Long shot prediction. I'm yeah. not, I, I, I don't mean to say like I literally think it's going to happen. I'm just saying you look at all these different events in history where war you know, happened, mm -hmm. and you can see they often have some... So, so maybe something like that. Um, I'm not saying I think for sure. I have no idea what's going to happen. You know. Yeah. I just hope everybody's got their... Uh, their, you know, uh, food. Well, no, I was gonna say their guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're Sig too. M400s, and yep. they've uh, not everyone. Up. Not everyone has that quality, but no. But uh, I, I was gonna say everybody has their their their. Um, uh, what, I, I don't want to say weapons necessarily, but home home, home protection, yeah. home defense. Yeah, not just because of this, but mm -hmm. because of you know riots and stuff, and the potential for conflict, and it's spreading, and maybe it stops. But uh, yeah, food too, you know. Yeah. Hey, take care of your family, right? That's right. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify. And we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.